Well, tackling a corn maze can be a fun fall adventure. Some of us like an easy one, while others like a challenge. That's right. Well, this maze in Northville is a bigger challenge than in the past, and it's all for a great cause. Kyla Peoples accepted the challenge at the Mayberry Farm Corn Maze. Are you looking to complete a fun but challenging corn maze this fall? Well, this maze is right up your alley. Mayberry Farm in Northville has a corn maze that will have you coordinating with the sun, wind, and well, the corn to help you complete it. And don't be upset that it's hard. This was done so by popular demand, and they even had professional engineers come in. We have nine acres of a difficult maze. Um, last year, our, our guests said it wasn't difficult enough, so the Ford Volunteer Corp designed our maze. So it's nine acres of a little more difficulty. The design of the maze are things that you might recognize when you stop by. It's pictures of things you see here at the farm. So you have our Mayberry Farm sign. We have pumpkins showing. We have a sh uh, pig showing. It's all designed based off what the engineers saw here at the farm. We asked people to take a picture of this maze when they get off the wagon so then they could start and then they can walk through by looking at it on their phone. We always want to make sure that our maze meets what the community wants to see and do, but at the same time we want to make sure that we're not creating something that they're not going to enjoy or it's too difficult for them. While you're walking through the corn maze, you instinctively just want to reach out and grab a piece of corn, but don't do that. They save it and use it for a good reason. You know, some of the rules are pretty simple. Don't set the corn on fire. <laughs> you know, it seems common sense, right? Um, don't pick the corn. The corn is not for you to eat. A farmer will come in and pick it, and it'll be used to feed animals. And if you aren't up for the big challenge. We also have a small one acre parcel. Now, we used to say that's the kitty maze, but I had several adults last weekend get lost in the one acre maze. But I say that maze is my size. And it's all done for a great cause. We are a nonprofit organization. This is a fundraising event. It's a great way to help us raise money to care for the animals during the winter and also to put some money towards education because we are an educational farm. If you're up for a fun fall day out that will have you wearing your thinking caps with your hoodies, Mayberry Corn Maze is a good pick. Looks like so much fun. Kyla, are there any other things to do at Mayberry Farm in addition to the corn maze? Absolutely. It's such a great farm to visit. There are so many different things you can do, especially um, checking out the animals. They have a wonderful farm there that have horses, alpacas, peacocks, and as they said, pigs and other animals that you can, you know, get up close and personal with and learn about. It's really nice. And as you can see, when I visited, um, I had a horse there come in, say hello. It was so nice. And then they also have um, a general store where you can get seasonal fruits and vegetables that are grown there at the store. I'm sorry, on the farm. And then also in the store, they have uh, homemade Michigan jams and jellies and honeys. It's really such a lovely place to visit. Oh, I love a good jam. I know. Those look good. Um, Kyla, how much is it to visit? So it is $13 for two and up, and of course that means two and under are free. And if you want to learn about tickets or even more about Mayberry Farm, you can visit their website and there's information there. Very nice, Kyla, thanks so much. Definitely have to check it out. Thanks, uh, Kyla. Oh, yeah, looks great. Mm -hmm.